hello everyone. I'm Dr. Devanjan Banerjee. I'm a consultant psychiatrist uh, at Apollo Multispeciality Hospitals uh, from India, Kolkata. And uh, today we are going to talk about um, a new article that has been published in Consortium Psychiatricum titled Endosophin in Treatment of Individuals with Borderline Personality Disorder with Predominant Impulsivity. This key series kind of uh, highlights certain individuals who were diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, according to DSM-5. And uh, one of their predominant symptom domain was impulsivity. And endoxifen was used to target this symptom domain. And that led to a significant symptomatic improvement. So these individuals, most of them had um, recurrent attempts at non-suicidal self-injury, substance abuse, high risk-taking behavior, novelty-seeking, aggression. And uh, there were uh, three female uh, individuals and two males. Um, all of them were in the age range of 19 to 30. But what we chose to do here is target them with a specific molecule called endoxifen. Uh, we chose to record uh, the improvement using the borderline evaluation of severity over time scale, abbreviated as the BEST scale. The duration of endoxifen was three months in two individuals, four months in two individuals, and two months in one. So in all of them, at the end of the last follow-up, after endoxifen was added to treatment that was going on, there was more than almost 50% reduction in the best score compared to the baseline. And what other things that happened in, in all of them was there was a reduction in substance use for those who had it before, reduction in non-suicidal self-injury, reduced rate of mood fluctuations, improved functioning both in personal and professional domain, reduced anger outbursts and episode of violence. And for two individuals, they were much more amenable to psychotherapy. And today they are compliant to the regular sessions of psychotherapy. In terms of adverse effects, in three of them, the adverse effects were mild, that didn't lead to dropout, and were mostly related to mild nausea, sleep disturbances, and occasional headache. So overall, it was pretty safe. This definitely shows the utility and safety of a molecule in treating one of the most difficult personality disorders that we deal with. And further, large-scale studies are necessary to establish the efficacy and long-term safety as a potential therapeutic tool in this challenging management of borderline personality disorder.